Yeah, beat your addiction, live free Ralph Freed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today's show Beat your addiction, live free Ralph Freed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today's show Stay positive, hope, and keep faith Stand strong against any odds that you face Put away the alcohol and the drugs Fill your time with the things you love Addiction is tough, but it's worth the work Treat your body what it's worth Spread positivity, inspire all If we stand together, we will never fall I help others see the other sides of life A soul of life, letting go of the strife So give me a call, I can help 1-844-405 Help Homeless shelters, hospitals, jails, wherever you are I am Ralph Friedrichs and I am here for you 1-844-405 Help
Yeah, change your future, it starts today Live life to the fullest, never skip a day Create hope, spread positivity Beat your addictions and negativity Ralph Free Rich is here for you Call today so we can help you 1-844-405-HELP 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 We are here for you Call us today My name is Ralph Friedrichs and I am an addiction recovery coach. I'm also a substance abuse and life coach. Today I want to share with you something about substance abuse and I want to be crystal clear about this because I need to leave an everlasting impact upon you. Imagine, just imagine you've been buried alive. Let's say uh, you're in a coffin and uh, but you know you're not dead. You just keep banging on the lid, hoping, just hoping that somebody might hear you. But you also think, okay, so maybe if I bang on the lid on the coffin, I'll unsettle the dirt that's upon the lid. And maybe, just maybe, someone might start digging their way down to you. This is what it's like to feel yourself at its lowest point of substance abuse, alcohol and drug addiction. You know you need help. You know you can't do it on your own, but you don't know who to turn to. But you also know that you're not dead. Usually, though, people don't think about death when they're habitually abusing drugs and alcohol. You have to be great at repressing the fear of death. I ask you, my audience, did it ever cross your mind that when you abuse alcohol and drugs, that maybe, just maybe, you might just overdose. With this, I leave one other thought. Don't be that person that possibly is going to lay in that coffin, alive, banging on the lid, hoping to unsettle the earth upon you, hoping that somebody might hear you. Be the person that takes the first step by reaching out to someone for help. Be the person that reaches out to me at 844-405-HELP and let me help you take your life back before your life is gone. People like Larry Geis from the Geis Academy at 516-458-2741. That's 516-458-2741. He can help you also take your life back. He will help you from your addiction to your recovery, hand in hand, step by step. But you need to reach out to people like myself and to Larry Geis. And by doing so, you will guarantee a fresh start because it doesn't matter where you've been, folks. What matters is where you are now and where you're planning on going. Your journey ahead is what really counts for the future because you can actually change where you're going but you cannot change where you've been. You can learn from it, and you can move forward from it. You can go and Google Larry Geis at the Geis Academy at www.odysseyconsultant.org. You can give him a call at 516-458-2741. And when you speak to Larry, let him know that you heard about him at the Take Your Life Back Today show. I want to give a shout-out to GlobalEyeglasses.com, where they are focused on saving you money, folks. They have over 1,200 frames available for you. They have plastic, metal, half frames, full frames, no frames at all. They have lenses like Progressives, which is the no-line bifocal. They have the line bifocal. They have photochromatic transitions, which changes indoor and outdoors. They have polarized for great for skiing, for water sports, for golfing. They have coatings like anti-reflecting coating, which is for night driving. They have UV coating. They have scratch-resistant coating, all available at a fraction of the cost at www.globaleyeglasses.com. Let them focus on saving you money. Folks, today we're going to uh, just touch a base, and um, the base that I am going to touch is 15 signs you're doing well in life, even if you don't think so. 
And what, if there's a reason that you don't think you're doing well, even though you are, it's because of those negative thoughts that might be occupying a space here, somewhere in your mind. And you need to evict the negativity from your mind and, and fill that void with positive thoughts. Let's face it, sometimes life feels like it's falling apart at the seams. Perhaps you've lost your job, your marriage, or just uh, you failed an exam. These are all things to give you negative thoughts and then it makes you feel like you're not doing well in life. Winston Churchill once said success consists of going from failure to failure without losing enthusiasm. Today I want to remind you why even though you may be feeling like you have failed or you are a failure, even though you may be feeling a bit like a failure, you are most definitely not. Here are my 15 signs that show you you're doing well even if you don't think so. Sign number one, you've lived and learned. No one said life is easy and while the bumps on the road may hurt every once in a while, the ride is definitely worth it. Think back to your failures and your defeats. You must know that uh, they were all there for a reason and part of a gander plan. Each difficulty has led you to where you are today. Each trial has molded you into this magnis magnificent, resilient person that you are, the awesome person that you are. Continue to move forward in faith, hope, and love, knowing that each experience has taught you what you need to become and who you are now. Sign number two, you have a comfy bed to sleep in. I'll never forget an interview uh, that I heard on NPR a while back. A young Haitian mother told her story on the radio. She had little ones that constantly wondered when they would, uh, would be able to eat and go to school like all the other kids around them. What impacted me most about that story was the sleeping arrangements. They all laid on dirt floors to sleep and at night if it rained everyone would have to get up, grab whatever left uh, uh, that was on the floor like blankets and pillows and move to a different location, a dry spot in that room. Now those are difficult times. Those are people that are maybe not doing so well in life but yet they move on. Appreciate that you have a comfy bed to sleep in. Sign number three, you strive to be better and who doesn't? The fact you're feeling a bit down because you haven't achieved what you want to achieve shows you're trying each and every day. In the grand scheme of things, you always try, try, strive to be better for as long as you can continue to do that. Happiness, success, and love will come and follow it. Just don't ever, and I mean ever, give up. Einstein, Einstein once said, it's not that I am so smart, it's that I stay with problems longer. Hang in there, never stop striving for and be all that you can be. Excuse me. Number four, you have or you had a job. Whichever way you look at it, it is still a win-win situation. If you have a job, kudos to you. Keep at, uh, keep at it and know that you will be richly blessed eventually. If you have recently lost your job, don't fret over it. You've gotten a job before, you can get one all over again with some persistence. Perhaps this is an opportunity you've been waiting for to do something you truly love to do. Keep searching and keep hoping that you find the ideal job for yourself. Number five, knowledge is at your fingertips. In this day and age, you can learn anything and everything you want. Knowledge is truly at your fingertips. Since knowledge is power, seize the power and let it assist you in the pursuit of your dreams, the pursuit of your happiness. Take advantage of all learning opportunities that come your way. Number six, you have food to eat. Sometimes a bit more than you should, like I do. Food is such an overlooked blessing, yet uh, if you miss it for a few hours, you start feeling the necessity of it. Take the time to enjoy your next meal, whatever it might be. Savor each bite and remind yourself that happiness is found by enjoying the simple things of life like eating a piece of pie. Number seven, you have the power to choose. 
Aristotle once said, Excellence is never an accident. It is always the result of high intention, sincere effort, and intelligent execution. It represents a wise choice of many alternatives. Choice, not chance, determines your destiny. Need I say more? Claim the power to choose today. Number eight, you've experienced some love butterflies or something like it. Ah, to be in love. To feel your whole body literally react to that moment when you simply steal a glance from one uh, you are infatuated with. Experience such natural, basic, and simple yet passionate moments will give you memories that will last you a lifetime. Number nine, you have clean water. This one should, be, uh, should never be overlooked. Do you ever watch Bear Grylls and all the desperate moves to get just a few ounces of muddy water? There are also people who aren't going without water because they have survival show. But instead, because it is a harsh reality in so many different parts of the world. Number 10, you have a dream. Whatever your dream is, it's yours. You have the ability to embrace it and create it. Don't ever give up on dreaming on your dreams or even on other people's dreams. Number 11, your happiness is real. You have the power to choose happiness for your life and everything you do in every circumstance. Your happiness is defined by whatever you, uh, but by whether or not you are able to discern and size the opportunity to feel happy. It may be something as simple as enjoying the laughter of a child to a decent movie or just being with loved ones. Number 12, you have clothes to wear. And sometimes too many options is not the best, but it is nice to have, which trumps your pr productivity, but it is another subject uh, for another time. The bottom line is, is you don't have to go naked through the streets or poorly dressed. You enjoy the blessings of being properly dressed for every occasion and have the ability to shield your body from all weather climate elements. Number 13. You have the ability to forgive. Can you imagine what this world would look like if you uh, could never forgive a, a person or people? Never mind the world. Just in your life, imagine it alone, not being able to move on by forgiving. Imagine how bogged down, bitter, and unhappy you would be if you did not have the ability to forgive others' mistakes as well as your own mistakes. It will make it nearly impossible to live and most definitely a nightmare to move on with life in difficulty times. Number 14. You believe in something greater than yourself. For all the times you were so caught up in your own little world and drowning in a kiddie pool version of life's problems, you have the ability to set back and realize uh, that you have something greater than what to live, uh, greater than life for uh, to live with. Whether it is God, your family, or friends, you can believe that your purpose is to achieve something that you that will be for a greater good, or simply to bring honor to your higher power, to your God. Number fifteen, you have the opportunity to build a global friendships. In today's day and age, your best friend can literally be 5,000 miles away, yet you can experience the beauty of a friendship within uh, just by a click of a button of your mouse. You have the unique capacity to be acquainted with a person in almost every country of the world, something no other generation before the 1900s was a easily able to do. As far as I'm concerned, your global ability to make friends is definitely a sign that you are doing well in life, and even if you don't think so, you are doing excellent in life. Folks, these are the 15 signs that you're doing well, even if you don't think so. And you need to evict the negative thoughts that are uh, occupying extra space in your mind and let positive thoughts move in. Let's face it, sometimes it feels like you're, uh, it's falling apart at the seams. Perhaps you lost your job, or your marriage just ended, or you failed to pass an exam that you are now simply feeling helpless and defeated. Remember what Winston Churchill said, success consists of going from failure to fa failure without losing the enthusiasm. Today, I am just going to remind you of these 15 things and I'm not going to go through the whole paragraphs on each just to tell you what they were again. Number one is you have lived and you've learned. You remember in the beginning I said it doesn't matter uh, where you came from. What matters is right now 
and tomorrow and by learning from yesterday's mistakes your today and your tomorrow should automatically be better number two is you have a comfy bed to sleep in remember in the beginning what I said about uh, the, the people um, this one family that was uh, from Haiti and I heard the interview on NPR and she was saying that her children would have to sleep on dirty floors and then when it would rain and the leak it would leak through the ceiling and hit the floors she had to wake her children up each and every time to pick up their blankets and their pillows and move to another part of a dirty floor but yet a dry part you strive to be better the fact that you're feeling uh, a bit down because you haven't achieved what you have uh, what you want to achieve shows that you're trying you're always looking for in improvement you're always stepping forward you're always moving on number four is you have a great job or you had a great job if you have a great job kudos to you if you had a great job and for some whatever reason you might have lost it it's not the end of the world if you've landed it the first time you can land another one again maybe this is a time for you to do something that you really want if you can afford being without a job for a month or two take advantage of it number five is knowledge is at your fingertips in this day and age you can learn anything and everything you want knowledge is truly at your fingertips the knowledge is power you can just about go on the internet and find out anything you want by googling it number six is you have food to eat and in some cases maybe some sometimes too much but the ability to be able to to have that food at will and not be like some of those other countries that are so far um, uh, in poverty that they have to live off the land here you don't have to wrestle down a cow to get your hamburger you just pull up to drive through at McDonald's number seven you have the power to choose uh, Aristotle once said excellence is never an accident it is always the result of high intention sincere effort and intelligent execution you number eight is you have you've experienced love butterflies and something like that isn't it great the feeling of love for some watching in my audience it might be brand new love for others like myself it's love that's been around for year after year after year and of course we should never take advantage of that because um, marriages fall apart all around us people unfortunately pass away but for the time you have on this beautiful earth enjoy the love that you experience enjoy the love if it's new build on it like a house would be built on foundation and if it's an, uh, an extended love uh, one that's uh, been around for many years like mine continue nourishing your love continue nourishing your relationship number nine you have clean water so many countries uh, they what they literally have to do is take water out of a dirty muddy lake and uh, sometimes they have to boil it to get rid of the bacteria sometimes they have uh, pills to put in there isn't it nice to be able to walk into the kitchen the bathroom and just turn on the faucet number 10 you have a dream whatever your dream is it's yours you have the ability to embrace and create it don't give up on dreaming or on your dreams and number 11 is your happiness is real you have the power to choose happiness for your life in everything you do in every circumstances if you're feeling unhappy it's because you are allowing that you need to always look at the glass as half full not half empty and uh, another analogy is, is that a half loaf of bread is better than no loaf at all number 12 is you have clothes to wear it's nice to be able to not live in places like in the jungles of Africa where they're walking around naked here you not only get to cover your body but you get to protect from the weather uh, um, elements of um, that are out there to protect your body number 13 is you have the ability to forgive it is always great to be able to forgive not just for the person that might have wronged you but for yourself it gives you the opportunity to move on it gives you the opportunity to let that anger out of your heart Number 14, you believe in something greater than yourself. For all the times you were caught up in your own little world and drowning in a kiddie pool version of life, kiddie pool version of life's problems, you have the ability to step back and realize that you have something greater to live for, for yourself. And last but not least is number 15, you have the opportunity to build global friends. And folks, that is so nice to be able to just go on the internet and, and literally just... Um, 
be able to click on a button and chat with a person maybe in India, Pakistan, maybe in Germany, and make friends with that person instantly. It is a nice feeling to be able to do that. Let today be the first day to start appreciating everything that you do have that's good in life instead of dwelling on the things that are maybe negative in your life. And honestly, folks, your mind is a powerful tool. This is the modem. This is the modem that God created for you in your life. You store everything in here. And why occupy uh, any space for negativity that is such a waste? Evict the negative thoughts out of your mind and, and, and let more positive thoughts come into your mind and you will see your life will become better. No matter which way you look at it, folks, be the first person in your own life to be that person to say, I want to change to be a better person. I want to start loving my neighbors and loving my friends and more importantly, love yourself. If you're watching me and you have any addiction issues or you have alcohol or drugs addiction, uh, addiction issues, maybe a, a low self-esteem, maybe depression, isn't it time to find that help that you so desperately need? And there are people like Larry Guy standing by at 516-458-2741, standing by with over 30 years experience to help take your life back. People like myself at 844-405-HELP are standing by. We are crutches for you to lean on, but you have to make that move to reach out to us. We're waiting. Reach out to us. We'll help take your life back. No matter where you are watching me, I hope you have the best day of your life. But no matter where you watch me, I hope you have a perfect, blessed, but more importantly, a sober rest of your life. And may God bless you. Yeah, change your future, it starts today Live life to the fullest, never skip a day Create hope, spread positivity Beat your addictions and negativity Ralph Reed Rich is here for you Call today so we can help you 1-844-405-HELP 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 We are here for you Call us today
Yeah, the show is over, but your life starts today Taking back your life's the only way Keep faith, stay positive, push through Take back your life, it starts with you Alcohol and drugs can't control your life Let go of the negative and the strife Ralph Free Rick is the man guiding your way The show is over, but your life starts today Call Ralph Friedrich at 1-844-405-HELP That's 1-844-405-HELP We hope you love the show today and tune in next time Take back your life today show with Ralph Friedrich Yeah